All right, Dante's done. He's absolutely nuts. So let's see what Mr. Caliostro is made out of. Uh, there he is. Wow, he is buff though. I just realized that. I didn't realize it during the summons. But man, this guy, he's hitting the gym for sure. So yeah, uh, unlike Dante's, he's a bit more well built. But uh, I mean, at, at least it, it clearly means nothing gameplay wise because Dante's looks so good. So <laughs> we'll see if he's the opposite. Hopefully not. So hopefully, you know, there's no cor correlation there. Damn, look at that background too, by the way. Ooh. Wow. Also, does he have a cane of sorts or is that a sword? I can't tell. Does he have a braid? I just realized. All right, let's get that first ascension. I, I assume he's not going to be locked behind any story stuff, at least, hopefully. Okay. Wow, subtle change. He has a very deep voice, bro. Yeah, this this strip looks better. Um, I like the color palette of. I, I always love the combination of uh, black and red. It just works. It's beautiful. Damn, we got some green on the background as well. It's like Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, not the biggest change, obviously, but you know, doesn't always have to be. Wait, his voice actor is Lobo. Really now? That's funny. Yeah, he's he's like edgy Santa. <laughs> Seems like a nice guy, though. I was expecting him to be like a total asshole, like... Alright, let's go third ascension. This one we can do! Okay, does this change? Because the first and second are pretty similar. Okay! Yeah, it's different. Yo, he's golden now, dude. Whoa. Oh, dude, really? Okay, well, whatever. I guess we have to look at Atlas for the FA anyway. They, they did this again. New materials for ascensions. D don't do that. Do it for skills. That's fine. Don't do it for ascensions. Come on, man. Okay. Yeah, he loves gold, apparently. Golden eggs, golden pots. We got it. All right. So, yeah, uh, I can't buy the materials after all. It's two weeks. So, we're just gonna have to use Atlas to look at the FA. So, again, if you don't want to see this, uh, look away for like one minute. Or even less if you're watching this own video. Bam. Wow. Very powerful. <laughs> Dude, the colors and the details. Both of these new servants have like crazy detailed art though. Oh my god. Like look at the pose. Look at everything. Yeah. Also, I love the glowy eyes with the heterochromia. The different colors. But yeah, he's actually... See, he seems to be a nice guy though, which is the funny part, right? <laughs> like he looks menacing and scary and edgy and everything else. But he seems to be a nice guy dialogue-wise at least, you know? <laughs> crazy hair. I love it. It's wacky. So let's see those sprites that we... Uh, okay, we can see all the sprites at least. Whoa, dude! Uh, he seems like the ruler of the whole planet. <laughs> He's like the king of the world in Dark Ascension. <laughs> wow. Also, look at those particle effects around the... Uh, I don't even know if it's like it's, it, the cane keeps evolving. What even is that at this point? Who knows? It's some kind of an artifact. Well, let's see too. We're going backwards here. Yeah, they, they go like more... They, it, it just keeps going crazier and crazier when you go up the ascensions. Yeah, it, 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 he just keeps adding more stuff, right? Damn, this is the buff daddy one, though. <laughs> I think it's definitely between two and three for me. I mean, three is pretty fly. I mean, come on. You look... This is so badass, dude. It, does, it is a bit of Dracula vibes as well. Yeah, you're right. So there you go. Mr. Alessandro Di Caliostro. Visual-wise, not as crazy as Dante's. Like, in, I mean, well, I, I should rephrase. The visuals are crazy. But the variety is not super crazy. It's mostly just, you know, keeping the same theme and just adding on stu stuff on top. So it's not like big differences necessarily, but detailed still nonetheless. And I think it definitely fits him regardless. So good stuff. So let's take a look at the gameplay side next. So again, because I can't max level him. Let's see Atlas. So on max level, he has 9.6k attack, which is pretty good among four stars in general. I forgot how high Hephaestion's attack is, who I assume will be his main competition as a four star pretender, assuming he's a DPS as well. But yeah, um, not too shabby. Pretty good for a four star. And uh, let's take a look at the deck next. Wow, he's triple arts. Wow, full caster deck. Interesting. I hope the MP is arts too. Yeah, it is. Also, why? What is it? Why is it B to EX rank? Also, there's not a whole lot of text. Anyway, now his cards hit counts are four on Buster, three on Arts, five on Quick, and five on Extra. What's the MP gain? 0.41. So his Arts cards are not crazy, but it makes sense because, again, he has a triple Arts deck. So they're not going to be like crazy high on the gains, at least not on base. Oh yeah, true, I forgot about Tlaloc, my bad. <laughs> I knew I was gonna forget about something, did not mean to. Alright, passives next. Ooh, we get some cool icons, for better or worse. First of all, uh, he gets um, Arts, Star Generation, and uh, Debuff Resistance, a little bit, okay. So it's 10% Debuff Res, 10% Debuff Res, and then 30% Arts, Star Generation. Interesting. 
Does this mean he can actually starge in a little bit even as arts? That's interesting. Alright, uh, second passive, we got slightly increased debuff success rate for himself. And then also uh, a little bit of uh, buff removal resistance. Okay, he's all about the resistances. He gets 10% debuff success rate and then 10% buff removal resistance. Cool little bonus. Uh, the, the latter obviously won't be reliable. It's just going to be a nice bonus when it happens. But the first effect, most likely assuming he has any debuffs, is a nice boost. And then the final one is arts crit damage, 10%. Oh, I was like, why is it 10% if it's E++, but it's it's in parentheses, it says fake. So I guess it's it's a fake skill. So that makes sense. I was like, 10% is very high for an E++ rank passive. Does this Dargen apply to the MP? Uh, it does, because it, it doesn't spe specify it. it's only normal arts cards. It's all the arts cards. So that's cool. Uh, his anti-append is against Avengers as well. Man, did OC2, <laughs> please. It's all like <laughs> Avenger stuff. Uh, I, I, as far as I know, Pretender is fully neutral on Avenger, right? And both ways, so maybe not the most useful thing, but you know, could be worse, I guess. All right, and then the MP. So this didn't have a lot of text, I suppose. Okay, all enemies get a... Oh, it removes defensive buffs from all enemies. Oh, and then does anti... That's what, what alignment is that? Is that law flourish? Forget, I'm bad with alignments. Scales with overcharge, and then does a defense down all enemies for three turns after damage. Okay. Oh, it is lawful? Okay. So it's an AoE MP. Wow. So is he a looper, I guess? It's a four-hit AoE arts. Okay. The super effective is 150 to 200 range, the standard for overcharge. Again, it is lawful on the alignment. And then all enemies minus 20% defense for three turns flat. It is after damage, but that's pretty good. And yeah, the buff removal or the uh, defensive buff removal is before damage. That's awesome. That's really good. I mean, yeah, it's always like it's just always nice to have when you see it on an MP, especially AOE. Wow. So yeah, we really uh, still don't have a lot of single target pretender action going on. It is what it is. I mean, it's basic, but it looks like a pretty decent MP. I don't know how well it loops yet, but maybe again. I mean, boss wise, the effects are even better because the defense down will be relevant for farming because it's after damage for the most part. And then also the, bu the defensive buff removal also really not relevant for farming. So he might just be a more boss oriented character anyway. Anyway, let's take a look at the skills. We have a battery icon. Okay, so self battery, straight up. Self MP damage for three turns. All enemies, wait, apply chaotic, I think, alignment to all enemies. Interesting. Oh no, it's not, I'm stupid, it's confusion, not, I'm, dude, I'm, my brain is, it's confused, it's not alignment, okay. He applies a confusion to all enemies for three turns. <laughs> my brain is so messed up today. Okay, so pretty basic. Seven turn cooldown, quite high actually. Uh, okay, it is a 50% battery, so that makes sense. And then 30% MP damage for three turns. 30% chance to skill seal every turn on the confusion for three turns. Also, it is not a like a uh, times-based confusion. So I, as far as I know, you can get skill sealed more than once from this per enemy. Should be the case. Okay, cool. At least the MP damage is high for three turns. Yeah, that's good for farming. So in that case, the downtime doesn't matter too much. But for DPSing, that is still four turns of downtime for that. We got Guts of some sort. So Self Guts for one time, five turns. And then when Guts is activated, he charges his MP one time, five turns. And then MP gain for five turns. Also, is that a 10 turn cooldown? What? Okay, uh, maybe he wants to be a farmer. That's a lot of downtime. Okay, let's see. So, wow! It's what? It's a 10,000 HP guts? What? That's the... B okay, it's the highest guts of the whole game. Okay, interesting. It's like, almost like a full heal. 10,000 HP revive on max rank? Okay. And then you get 30% battery when your guts is procced, or a guts is procced on you. And then you get 30% uh, MP gain for five turns. Okay, yeah. Ooh, interesting. I mean, it's still a lot of downtime, though. It's a big-ass seal, but that's still a lot. This is a 10-turn cooldown on max rank. Huh. It's like a player break bar. That's funny. <laughs> That's cool, though. I like it. It's kind of... I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, like, gameplay-wise, but yeah, that's cool, though. 10k guts. Is it stackable? I don't think it is. No, it's not. That is unfortunate. Yeah, it's not a stackable guts. Damn, dude. They should have made it stackable. Damn. That definitely holds it back a little bit. All right, then we got the main card type of the arts. Great, because, you know, he has four arts cards. If he didn't have any arts up, I'd be hella sad. So yeah, self arts up for three turns, 
crit damage for three turns, and then when normal attacking... Oh, wait, it's buff success rate down for one turn on the enemy? Is that what it says? Is that buff success rate down? That's funny. And also this effect lasts for three turns. What? It's on all his normal attacks? On six turn cooldown, let's see. 30% arts, 30% crit damage, and then 10% buff success rate down, I think. So with one one turn, if you do a full brave chain, minus if, if MP not included, a normal, you know, like hand brave chain which is four you get four instances of this because it's only normal attacks you get minus 40 percent buff success rate up for the enemy for four turns or one turn <laughs> that's actually not nothing it basically makes enemy skills into imperial privilege that's funny and they're all gonna be ip <laughs> yeah i guess the buff heavy buff it could be actually something yeah but then you remember though there's a bit of awkwardness though because remember his first skill has a confusion, which can skill seal. So that's, I don't know, that's kind of a mismatch to me. That's kind of weird. It, it's not great synergy, because you want them to use skills when you're going in on with, with the third skill. That's weird. Yeah, that's, that's kind of anti-synergy. This guy's weird. <laughs> He's weird. He's got a lot of interesting stuff going on, but I'm not sure objectively how amazing this stuff is going to be. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's Dante's is super straightforward. He's just broken. He's like a broken single target DPS. This guy, though, he might be a farmer. He might be some kind of an AoE troll. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he probably has decent looping, though, because he has MP gain, MP damage, arts up, you know, stuff like that. So he has tools for looping as well, you know? Wow, what a, what a weird guy. <laughs> okay, hey, let's go see some animations because I haven't seen those either. <laughs> Oh, wow, I can. He's a nice guy. He's like, leave it to me. <laughs> I love this guy, kind of. <laughs> what is this guy? <laughs> I don't get it, dude. What the hell are uh, th those hands? Okay, he's got giant hands. Like Ibaraki or something. Anyway, uh, we gotta do full arts first, of course. Dude, he's so. He, he sounds so happy. <laughs> dude, that deep voice laugh. Also, get blasted. Bite and blast. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Whoa, did he? What the hell was that? Was that nothing personal, kid? Oh, he's got- he's boxing? Well, I guess he's also kicking. I don't know what's happening. Wow. Have a, a giant spiral beam as well. It looks like a mindfuck beam or something. <laughs> what is this guy? I can't- I don't know. This guy is so weird. <laughs> yeah, let's do the MP. Let's see what it looks like. People are saying it's a Caesar warning. I don't know. I haven't seen so, yeah. Let's go, let's go. I doubt he has an MP theme, though, as a four-star. Yeah. Whoa, those eyes. Whoa, the mindfuck thing is back. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, okay. It's probably even more weird when you look at it in full speed. What the hell are those sound effects? Bro, it's like the mindfuck beam. <laughs> the hands. Whoa, he throws. Oh, he, he can copy himself, so that's what it was on the teleport behind as well. He can dupe. He's got the clone of Jutsu. Oh my god, he can box with the hands too. Wow, he's... Uh, I mean, again, again, not to repeat myself too much, but yeah, Dante's is definitely the straightforward case. He's easy to evaluate, and I, I can already tell he's just cracked. But Mr. Caliostro here, <laughs> he's not so straightforward. And I honestly don't even know how I feel about him yet gameplay-wise. Um, I would have to see how the looping works first in terms of comps and numbers to even comment on that first. And then against bosses, I don't know. I kind of like what he does, but a lot of it won't be rel reliable. Like, you know, the buff uh, success rate down is still RNG at the end of the day. And um, obviously his uptime won't be re that great on the skills. There's a lot of high cooldowns. In fact, he might have one of the highest cool average cooldowns of all kits in the game, if not even act actually flat out the highest cooldowns. Definitely not, you know, ideal. I was hoping to maybe see cooldown reduction there somewhere, but not the case. You would have to bring that from outside, be either like Tamamo or like Koyan. Probably not Koyan though, because the, there's no synergy, but he could be maybe fun with Tamamo, because he needs cooldowns for sure. 
But yeah, there you go. Again, I don't have a good conclusion for him yet, but he's interesting. So there you go. Kaliostro first impression. So with that, if you enjoyed this, do be a solid and press the thumbs up button, okay? Really helps out. Also, make sure to subscribe not to miss out on future videos because, uh, you know, we got more gacha on Friday with the Trunk Sisters release on NA and also a lot of CQ videos on the way still from the uh, Tesla Fest. So lots of uploads and of course the tier list, Berserkers this week. Yay. So hey, good luck if you're rolling for either Dante's Caliostro or both. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Peace out.